Here we go, almost. Good afternoon. Welcome to Facebook Live, and we are here every Wednesday. Today, the topic, how to calculate your rich ratio in our mini-series, How You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think. Same title of the book, You Can Retire Sooner Than You Think. Really, today is going to be five minutes with life-changing numbers. I'm going to talk about how to calculate your rich ratio. I love the rich ratio. It's a really easy concept. It's very impactful. If you have a good rich ratio, you're going to be excited. If you have a bad rich ratio and you calculate, you might hate this video and you'll unshare it. But either way, we're going to calculate it and it'll be quick. Five minutes with life-changing numbers. So here we go. We're going to try to understand and really what first, what is the rich ratio? It's very simply a, a formula that is what you will have in retirement, taking all your sources, divided by what you need to spend in retirement. That's the ratio. It takes a little bit to calculate that, and that's what we're going to get to with an example of my two friends, Bill and Ted. One is a good rich ratio, one is a bad rich ratio. We Remember, we want to have our rich ratio above one to be in the good camp, or what we call the happy retiree camp. So, good afternoon, West Moss here with five minutes with life-changing numbers. So first we're gonna do something again called the rich ratio. We're gonna compare two gentlemen. One is named Bill and one is named Ted. Bill has about $500,000, not an insignificant amount of money, but Ted is seemingly rich and he's got $1.5 million but they have, a, they have a very different rich ratio, and we're going to calculate it right now. So let's look at it this way. We have uh, Bill. Bill has 500000 From that 500, well, let's look at his income sources for a second. He has a pension. He has Social Security, which most of us will have when we get to be 62 or 66, depending on when we take it, or 67, depending on how young you are. And then we've got our investment income that is derived from this number. In this case, on the pension, he has a modest or a, a, he has a modest pension of a thousand a month, Social Security of two thousand a month. This is a thousand dollars, and then taking a reasonable amount from the five hundred thousand from investment income from a withdrawal, we're going to assume that he has another two thousand dollars that is per month from the nest egg or the war chest of money. So he's got $5,000. And by the way, another important note, it, it, we do want to calculate this with after-tax money. So we really want to make sure that this is after-tax because we're spending this money. I'm not going to go through that piece of it today. This is just a quicker calculation to understand the high-level version of your rich ratio. But this is the big, this is the important. We have a half divided by the need. What's the need? That's a big deal. In this case, the need is 4,000. So the math here is pretty simple. It's 5K, the half, divided by four, the need a month, 4,000 a month. So the rich ratio here is 1.25 for Bill. So it's above one. That's a good thing. We're going to give this a big smiley face for his, for Bill's rich ratio if that makes sense. Now, let's quickly transition to Ted. Ted, on the other hand, Ted's supposedly the rich guy, right? Ted's got a million five in money. You would think Ted's got a great rich ratio, right? So again, we have a pension of a thousand a month. We have social security of 2000 a month. And then we have uh, investment income of 6000 a month. He's got a lot more money, so he's a lot more investment income that's going to come to him. Let's do the math here. 6 plus 2 plus 1 is 9000 is his half. That's what he's going to be bringing in every month. Well, here's the only issue. He has a need that's 10000 a month. So his rich ratio, as we just calculated, is 0.9. It's below 1, so it's a bad rich ratio. He needs more every single month than he can safely generate, and that's coming in for these guaranteed income sources. So he's got a little bit of an issue. He basically has a spending problem or a lack of income problem, both that can be fixed. The, the spending problem is probably a little bit easier. So we end up with, again, 
a rich ratio that is 0.9 for Ted because his need is greater than his have and his rich ratio is under one. Again, pretty simple calculation, but really a, an easy way to start thinking about what your retirement's gonna look like. You know, there are there's so much complexity in retirement planning. There's inflation, there's savings, there's saving rates, there's the pace of rate of change for your savings, there's an expected rate of return. Let's just put all of that out of the picture for a minute and, and get down to some of the real fundamentals of financial planning. Your have divided by your need, it gives you a really good indication if you're going to be on track when it comes to being able to retire sooner than you think. Here is a book. Mallory just handed it to me. She obviously wants me to promote the book. Happy to do so. If you haven't already read this, there are lots of life-changing numbers inside of this book. There are several different calculations that are critical. There are habits of happy retirees versus unhappy retirees. It was just last week that I talked to a family who had a friend of theirs that read this over the weekend. It was a long weekend, a Friday, a Saturday, Sunday. They came into work on Monday morning and they quit their job. They started reading through this and they said, you know, I think I can do this. And when can we do this, honey? Like right now. They went in and quit on Monday. And that's probably one of the most beautiful stories I've ever heard when it comes to the results of after you read through a book like this. And again, if you read the reviews on Amazon, some people, a few people hate it. There's a lot of people that love it and have gotten an awful lot out of it. And I hope that you land in that camp. Again, Wes Moss here. Follow us on Facebook, which is just uh, West Moss Money Matters on Facebook. On YouTube, West Moss Money Matters. All easy to find, West Moss Money Matters on YouTube. And then, uh, of course, on iTunes for our uh, the radio show that I do every week. It's a two-hour show. You can get it on podcast uh, on uh, through iTunes. West Moss Money Matters uh, is the show. Thank you so much for being here. We'll answer your comments on Facebook. Any questions that you have, you can email me through westmoss.com. If it's personal information, you don't want to get too public on social media, you go to westmoss.com, W-E-S-M-O-S-S.com. Thank you so much today for tuning in.